Hello Shelby County families, this is Dr. Nyhoff coming to you with an update on Monday, April the 20th. Earlier this afternoon, all the superintendents in the state were on a conference call with the governor. I want to tell you that the news I'm sharing with you today is not fun news to share, it's not exciting news, it's sobering news. But I want to tell you that my commitment to you and the commitment of our Board of Education and our principals and our leadership team is to make this as good as it can be given our circumstances. The first thing the governor announced is that there will be no in-person classes for the remainder of this school year. We assumed that this would be a part of the announcement today and it was. The second part of the announcement is that there are no in-person activities at all this school year. So that means nothing with athletics, nothing with end of year celebrations, no award ceremonies, all of those things are not going to occur. He anticipated that there would immediately be questions about graduation and prom. Those are the two big events that are being asked about the most in our community as well. His guidance is that we can design systems to provide virtual graduation or virtual prom or that we could have some sort of drive up celebrations and recognitions designed as long as we honor the social distancing guidelines that exist. It will be a challenge to do either one of those, but we're committed to doing one or the other or both to celebrate as best we can in these circumstances. For us, our next steps this week internally as a staff will be to ask the board to revise the school calendar. There is some flexibility allowed with this announcement to end the school year a little earlier than our current calendar allows for. I'm not going to give you details of that, but I will tell you I'm going to ask the board to approve that change on Thursday night, and I'll have an announcement about that on Friday pending Board of Education approval. Secondly, we need to publish to you an instruction and assessment plan for the rest of the year. How teaching and learning is going to happen, how final exams will occur, how grading of that will occur, and how we'll wrap up the school year and gear up for promotion to next school year. And the third thing this week we'll need to work on is publishing in more detail our plan for end of year celebrations. I may not have all of that finalized by Friday because I want to make sure that we do that with as much creativity and energy and excitement as possible. However, I do promise you an update by Friday on where we are in next steps. As we wrap up this video, I want to thank you for your participation, for your commitment to struggling through these difficult times. I want you to know we're here for you. We want to help you. We want to support you. We want to come alongside you in every way possible while you're struggling through this difficult time. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have ideas, suggestions, or questions. We're in this together.